Look at this, Cleveland. Front of the bus, back of the bus, middle of the bus. You guys are doing great. I can't believe this. Two weeks in prison on trumped-up charges. That trial was a total sham. Yeah, I knew we were in trouble the minute I saw the jury. Well, at least they're a jury of our peers. I don't think they see it that way, Peter. Hello, gentlemen. I am the warden. You are here because you are criminals. This is not a resort. You will be worked harder than you have ever been worked in your miserable, pathetic lives. And play harder, right? I bet. Step forward, maggot. Ah! Next time, that'll be you. Well, why wasn't it him this time? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, ah, oh, ah, Peter, stop it! Yeah, you're real big when you got that stick, ain't you? Okay, I'll stop now. This is so much fun, isn't it? I know. What should we talk about next? I know. Let's talk about actresses. Oh, yeah. I feel like Natalie Portman thinks she's so much better than everybody. She's nothing, and her husband's a nobody. Why does Laura Linney always look like she's just finished skiing? I don't know who that is. Really? The Big C? Love, actually? No, never heard of her. Would you know who she was if I said Tyler Perry's Laura Linney? Oh, I love her. Oh, God, it's so hot out here. Yeah, you knew it was gonna be hot when you heard that lonesome slide guitar and that hawk's cry. Hey, this ain't break time. Get back to work. Gonna see Miss Eliza. Gonna go to Mississippi. Gonna see Miss Eliza. Gonna go to Mississippi. Gonna see Miss Eliza. Gonna go to Mississippi. Man, listen to what the black guys are doing. We need a white guy work song. Hello! How are you? How's the folks? What's new? I'm great. That's good. Ha <laughs> ha! Knock wood. Well, well. That's life. What do you know? How's the wife? Gotta run. Oh my. Ta-ta. All aboard. Goodbye. You Peter Griffin? Oh, yeah, thanks. What the hell is that? It's a jetpack. I'll come back for you guys, I promise. You're my friend and everything, and I feel bad saying this, but I wanted to see you fail. Official prediction? When they let us out of here, we're gonna have to go through the prison gift shop. Oh, oh God. Yeah, they always I hate do. doing that. Right, that's how they get you. Man, it's gonna feel so good to walk out of here tomorrow. Yeah, you know, the time actually went by faster than I would have thought. Uh, you know something? We left Quahog to find adventure and get away from all those lame chores at home, but I'll tell you this. Looking back on it now, I don't think our lives are so bad. Yeah, I sure do miss Lois and the kids. I'll tell you one thing, when I get home, I'm gonna sleep like a log. Hey, I'm gonna plug in the nightlight if you don't mind. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to not do that. Knock off that chit-chat. It's lights out. Oh, hey, Warden, since it's our last night in here, can I have a glass of milk? I feel like having dream diarrhea. Last night? <laughs> Where do you think you all are going? Says here you got another 30 days on your sentence. What? But the court said we're supposed to go home tomorrow. Well, the court ain't here, is it? <laughs> oh, man, how the hell are we gonna do this for another 30 days? <laughs> That's the way it goes around here. Once you come in, you're never allowed to leave. I got my sentence extended 30 days once. That was 45 years ago. Oh my god, you hear that? We're gonna be stuck in here forever! Oh god, what are we gonna do? Well, I know what I'm gonna do. If we're gonna be here a while, I'm gonna find the biggest guy here and kick his ass. Wait a minute, that's me! Oh no, I have a knife! What are we gonna do? They're gonna keep us locked up here forever! We're not staying in here forever. We're getting out of here. How? We're breaking out. What? Look, sometimes in life you gotta say what the hell and just go for it. I mean, that's how we won the Revolutionary War. 